So I've been wanting to make content in general, but mostly Grand Chase content because I have a whole over a decade's worth, probably, worth of baggage on this damn game and I wanted to at least wait for the developers, see what, what it is that they're gonna do, uh, how the management is going, I, I'm not really sure because the only patches we've had since release have all been emergency patches. Until, uh, what is it, a couple of days ago, this, this past week, there was the Ryan release teaser thingy, and I'm sitting here like, oh, so we're, we're just gonna go back to business as usual? Is that gonna be our... You're just gonna release one character at a time? You could have at least released Ryan and Ronan. Like, if you release two characters that you barely have to do any work on, because you... I you've barely done any work here i've been i've been looking okay and i'm gonna I'm show you guys what i mean but basically ryan is getting released i'm not very happy about it because we still don't know if if they're gonna let me go to the shop right quick still don't know if they're gonna do this whole nonsense with the with the slots this is all there is on the on the main tab and the only other place I know where to look for is the Academy, which is just the, the job change missions and stuff. Uh, expansion doesn't show anything. Just, uh, you know, inventory slots. But, um, yeah, I, Ryan's going to get released, and for all we know, we're going to have to pay for additional character slots, which would be fine, even though it won't be fine. Uh, if this was a thing, right? But it would be not as bad if you could delete a character that you don't like and make another character, which is something that a lot of people were asking the first couple of days when I started playing uh, in the general chat. Now it's all dead. Or let me see if I if I uh, if we go to the PvP lobby right quick. This is where all the people hang out. And by people, I mean obviously bots. But right now, you know what? I think I'm on a dead server. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I like, I like just not having people join my room and having to keep changing my password and stuff. Let's go to America right quick. The, the first one. Okay, yes. Oh, well, well, that's, the. yep, there's, yep. Business as usual with these guys. Alright, let me go to, we go to PvP. Yep. Yep. I don't know if that guy was cursing or not, but, uh, uh, whatever. It is what it is, and that's what I'm afraid of. I am afraid of things just going back to the way they used to be, because they were not very good. I'm a union worker now. Okay, I need to lock this screen. Hang on. There we go. That'll fix all my problems. So, yeah. There is... There hasn't been a lot of changes at all. I don't know if... If, uh, because, okay, so Grand Chase closed down twice. The first time, I lost all of my progress, as, as did everybody else, right? Obviously. Uh, I had a lot of things that I had a lot of sentimental value in. Like, uh, I had Armor Sturge of Warlock. I had her original hat, which was a little cone hat with, uh, with eyes on it. And it was really cute. And I want it back, but I know that I'm not going to have it back, even though it's 100% in the game files. It exists in there somewhere. I, I can feel it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I had, uh, I had some comic -y weapons, or at least the comic -y glaive for Ronin, Dragon Knight. I kind of want that back, even if it's just for show. Uh, there's something about it. It's, it's like the thing that I was promised back in the day that I never got, and when I finally got it, it was so irrelevant that it didn't matter. Um, so let me go to the... where's the collection thing? That's something that I can talk about. Alright, now, yes, we can talk about pets. Hooray hurrah. So uh, I was looking over the pets here, and let me see. Most of these are gacha pets. I know, Kas it was Casanova gacha? I th yeah, I think so. Um, I think Lilith? Can you buy? I don't even know if you can buy Lilith. She's supposed to be just cash. But anyways, most of these are like seal breakers. 
or the they had the little the stupid egg thing that it, it rolled like it, it was like a conveyor belt and you picked up the egg and then whatever was in the egg is what you got and that was the dumbest thing i once spent like sixty dollars trying to get let me see if she's in here i don't think she's in here which is funny because it was definitely released no oh, that's just lotus yeah, that's not, that's not the one. I'm looking for, uh, what was her name, Kumi? I think that, I think that was her name. And then there was also a, a promotional pet that I got, like, what, I had, like, at least 20 of them. Obviously, I sold, the, uh, you know, I only kept one. But, um, it was a pink rabbit called Winky that did a little tornado spin. Uh, and, and, I uh, she was okay. Until they decided to nerf everything into the ground and only make all the new pets the only like good pets. Hell, even where is he? Where, where's the boy? Even Thanny boy, who used to be like the the big boy. Like you, you got like what, like four four MP bars just for using him if you got like if you didn't like on a boss or something or if you hit enough enemies. And yeah, he ended up doing nothing at the end. Uh, but, you know, lo and behold, new pets like Celion would come out, and they would give you, like, a full bar. So I don't, I don't know why. Like, it's not like Danny Boy is easy to get anyways. Well, I mean, he kind of was easier to get back when uh, we had all the busted characters, and Temple of Ascension wasn't that big of a deal to clear. It kind of is now. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of pets missing. I know that there are some pets that were not released in North America, like Ball and Super Ball, which is like a little bubblegum superhero pet, which I thought was really cool. But, you know, I guess, you know. Oh, there she is. I found her. Oh, my God. Staring at her this whole time. Yeah. There it is. Kumi. So I got the full armor set for Amy from those eggs. Then I, and then I got some other pieces for Jin, and I forgot who the third character was but those armors were like normal equipment armors like that back then there was no uh there was no cordy right you can see i don't have any cordy on me well whatever right that doesn't matter but yeah they were like was like what like like level 20 or 30 something 40 something armors things that you outgrew especially in this economy with with the equipment just being meaningless uh yeah, it was it was not a good time. I could go on and on about literally everything, so I'm just gonna focus on the things that I wanted to talk about, which was they did not like fix up so many things. They left so much in. Like for example, uh, this is a third job weapon, the great bow. As you can see, it's level 36 because third jobs used to be available. Uh, you could get them at level 30, now they went up to 40, and they kept the, the why, why did they keep it, and, uh, yeah, I I'm guessing it's gonna be the same for Elysis and, uh, Arme. if I see the Moonlight Great Boy, there's gonna be a Moonlight other stuff, and then we have the Composable, which is a fourth job weapon, which you cannot get until you're level 60. And as you can see, that thing's level 45. So, the weapon that I get from the, the mission, which is just a normal weapon, which is like the only way to get common weapons, by the way, because you know, they're, come, they're gone, they disappeared from existence. Yeah, it's gonna be better than this weapon right here. And I just wanted to show that off, and now I can probably just get rid of them, uh, finally. And now, I, I really want to do a whole thing, a whole rant on the dumbass refining system. <sighs> so yeah, Ryan, Ryan is going to come out, and um, hopefully that's not going to be the only thing that comes out of that patch. Hopefully they'll do... They, they really need to get like the fundamental things down you gotta like it's not even about like job balancing which i really really want there to be because right now 
it, the same jobs that were viable in the past are viable now. And the ones that you could kind of sort of use, like Swordmaster, are in, they ran them into the ground. And then the ones that were, you know, I guess PvP only jobs, which is hilarious because PvE is supposed to be the place where you can do whatever you want and have fun, and PvP should be the one that's balanced. Now it's, it's you know, Grand Chase flips it on its head. And uh, PvP is the place where you can take any class in and do good at. The dungeons is where you have to take the one class, you know, the, the thing that, that gets repetitive and super grindy is the place where you have to do, play the best thing and then in PvP it, it's, it's just it, it is what it is but I don't I, I don't like I don't like the phrase and I don't like the status quo that we have I'm I'm really holding out here I know that I'm gonna be disappointed but I don't want to be and honestly, at this rate, I might as well just ins download Elsword again and try to get into that. Maybe uh, I, I might just enjoy it more now than, than Grand Chase, which is it's a shame. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, KOG just runs this game into the ground again so that people stop spending money on it. Because all of the private servers that they've closed were doing such a, they're a much better job with what they had than just being disappointed at the lack of all the characters and the lack of just everything. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I, uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah.